Hello, in this episode we'll be having fun with a colour sensor. This is my G-Stock underground train that I've taken the colour sensor out of. You can get the colour sensor from lego.com. This is the UK version which is $12.99. And with the colour sensor I'm going to plug it into the B port of the train hub there and then in the A port we're going to plug in the train motor which we have a look here's a train motor here so we're going to do a little program so the color sensor picks up a green tile and if we open up the Lego powered up app Lego have changed a few things with the powered up app the symbols have changed um, this year well in the last few months um, so if we go to create and we're going to click on the plus button. We'll give it a name, trains. Oh, hang on. There we go. Let's spell it right. Here we go, train. Click on coding. And here we are. We've got this screen. Now, if you look at the bottom, we get very limited icons. So we have to click on the three dots there and click on three blocks to get all the icons up so we can use all the features. So if we start with our good old arrow button, the start button, and we get the motor symbol up. So this is for the train motor. Uh, as you can see, it's port A. I'm going to hit speed 50. And then that, oh, hang on, the hub, get rid of that. And that is the color sensor sent, uh, icon. So as you can see, we've changed it to port B and it's looking for a green tile. So the next bit we do, once it's seen the green tiles, we want the motor to stop. And this is the symbol for the motor to stop. So with all that together, we're going to press the start button and see how we go. Oh, actually, before we press the start button, we better sync up our uh, hub to the app. So there we go. We'll press that and we're all ready to go. Let's see it work. So we should go around once. Once it sees the green tile, it will tell the train to stop and that will be that. There we go. So we shot it a little bit, but it's stopped. Now we're going to make this do a forever loop. So there's a symbol for the forever loop. It's got an infinity, infinity sign on it. So we click all that in there. But of course, we'll need to put a little timer to tell the train to stop for a few seconds. So there's a timer symbol. We'll make it stop for two seconds. But this will go on forever until we tell it to stop. So if we press the play button and see how we go. So we'll let it do a couple of loops. So when it sees the green tile for the first time, it'll, it'll stop and stay there for two seconds. Then it'll go off again and it'll do exactly the same and it'll keep doing this until we press stop or the batteries run out. So what we're gonna do next is something a bit different with the blue tile there, which is set ahead of the points. Um, and we've got a red tile here in the other road where the points split. So we need the points trailing or reverse so the train will come into the sidings so we don't actually have to physically move the points. So with our code, we'll take our existing code and uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll take the infinity loop out. We could keep it in because it doesn't really matter but just for the ease of seeing this. So, of course, we're going to be running up to that green tile and stopping the train for two seconds. Uh, once it's stopped, we want the motor to come on again after two seconds and take us up to the blue tile um, where we want it to stop. So but we're going to set it at speed 30 because we're doing a shunt move. We don't want it too fast. Um, now we need the color sensor. There we go. Um, port B. And we change the color to blue. Um, stick a timer in there for two seconds. Next, we're going to need a motor icon because we're going to send the train into the sidings. So it's going to run in the opposite direction. So we need a minus number. So we do it at minus 20, which is nice and slow. So it shouldn't shoot off the end of the sidings there. Um, then we need the color sensor icon 
so we're going to be looking for a red tile mm, I think I made a bit of a mistake here I forgot to put a stop symbol didn't I stop the motor after the blue sensor after the blue tile so we put that there change the port on the sensor there so we've got it's looking at B and of course stop the motor when it gets into the siding so there's our code to take the train round and then park it into the sidings let's see it in action so here we go coming round once see the green tile let's stop there so this could be where you could have a station and then goes up to the blue tile and runs in the opposite direction sees the red tile and stop now we'll make it a bit more interesting by throwing another train into the mix we've got this one my Saracens which um, is powered up as well uh, the hub goes in there it's also fitted with the color sensor which is underneath there and this will look for a green tile we'll tell it to look for a green tile and then park itself back in the train shed look for that white tile and stop so we're going to keep the same code as before for the red train and um, we're going to power up so pair the new hub to our app so press the button there let's see the hub sync up so there we go we've got the two hubs there haven't we right so yeah what we're going to do is we're going to send the tr red train round uh, do the same thing it's going to go around see the green tile it's going to then see the blue tile park itself in the sidings and then once it's parked itself into the sidings we're going to send this train out so let's get a motor symbol up for the new train let's plonk it at the end there um actually i'm forgetting myself because we've got two hubs here we're going to have to go to the math blocks then and actually differentiate between differentiate between the two hubs so we put this hub symbol there so this should be hub one and we don't have to change the ports because the ports are already dictated on those symbols so it just specifies that these are all hub one which is train one the red train so there we go a couple more to do a little bit more than a couple all right last one for hub one so this is the motor for the new train for second train so let's stick that in there let's change the hub to hub two right so there we go there's our train motor so the train will be now leaving the train shed we now want a color sensor symbol uh, icon so there we go um, we're going to change that to green so when it comes out it'll go around see the green tile um, we also need to change the hub name as well uh, let's get the hub symbol up again there we go and hub two we specified port b there we go port b so when it sees the green tile this is the second train we want the motor to stop and there we go and we've got to get the motor symbol again the hub symbol change it to hub two there we go and we'll put a timer in there as well let's get the timer icon up there we go we'll get it stopped for two seconds let's say right let's stop for two seconds and then we're going to just run it back into the train shed so we want a motor symbol and get the hub symbol up again because we're going to change this to hub two there we go hub two and we want to change the speed and the direction so minus because we're going back in the opposite direction so we do that at uh, that might be a bit fast actually let's do it at 40 because we don't want it to go too fast into the train shed so we're now traveling back into the train shed we need a color sensor symbol again because we're going to be looking for that white tile that is in the train shed so let's change the color to white there we go and back to the math block put the hub in there specify as hub two and port b and of course once it sees the white tile we want the engine to stop so or the motor to stop and that's the wrong symbol let's put that back we want the 
motor to stop. That's a stop symbol. Let's get the hub there. Change the hub to hub two. And should be in the right port there. All right, let's uh, see this all in action. All right, I'll leave you all to watch this. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and have fun coding with Powered Up. Bye.